Alright, now many of you guys who own the Galaxy S22 series might have already got enrolled for the One UI 5.0 beta program and you might have already downloaded the software and installed it on your device. Now usually when we use these beta versions of the software, we encounter a lot of bugs a lot of app crashes, system setting crashes, and the phone sometimes doesn't work as intended. These issues are bound to occur when we are running on beta program. Now, if you're running this beta version of the software on your primary device, then it becomes a problem for you if the phone is having too many issues. In that case, you may want to withdraw yourself from the beta program and you may be wondering how exactly you can do that. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly that. So let's dive right in. To withdraw from beta program, all you need to do is open a Samsung members application. If you're on beta, you will see this page when you open the members app. Now, where exactly is this option to withdraw from beta? Let me tap on settings on the top right corner. Now here, all you need to do is tap on One UI beta program status. As you can see, it says the status is active and at the bottom, you will see an option to withdraw. When you tap on this, here it says withdrawing from One UI beta program to use the official software and services, reinstall the final version of the official software. You can reinstall software by using the desktop version of Smart Switch. So you need to connect the phone to the desktop and use the Smart Switch application to reinstall the official stable version of the software. A reset will be performed and all the data generated during the One UI beta program will be erased. All of your data that was backed up before installing the beta software can be recovered. But there may be limitations in recovering data that was created after installing the beta software. So you should keep these things in mind whenever you're withdrawing from the beta program. Now this is the smart switch application on the desktop. As you can see, we will have an option to install the software here. Just connect your phone and reinstall the software. Now throughout this process, be sure to back up the data on your phone. This is how you can withdraw from One UI beta program. Now, as far as the beta on my phone is concerned, I am facing some issues, but nothing too serious. There are a few issues like the call screen gets stuck. I won't be able to exit the call screen when I'm on a call. The Samsung keyboard is not working properly. The toolbar is not showing up. Some of the system apps and system settings keep crashing and a few more issues I'm facing, but nothing too major. I'm using this device as a primary phone. I'm able to manage it. You let me know if you are facing any issues, do drop a comment. While you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel to watch some useful content on One UI and smash the like button if you find this video useful. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.